Bulovanaka. Um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about um, what the effect of dredging might be on a river. It's actually not particularly difficult once you understand how it works. So let's have a bit of a look at what a river might look like. First of all, it's, it's slightly sloping all the way down like this. And virtually every river is the same as this. It's not that the railway is particularly different to any of them. But what it means is um, the slope means that the water is going to flow from up here, up in the hills, and gradually make its way down uh, to, the, to the base here. At the base here there is a little bit of a, a delta happening, which you've seen, like this, with the land. Um, and uh, along here, obviously, there's lots of different things happening. We're not really interested here in, in what's happening sort of from an industrial point of view. We really want to make a comment about the river. So in this particular case, just imagine with the, with the, um, uh, with the dredging that they, they start off here, perhaps, and they lower, I'll make that a little bit bigger, just so you can see, but obviously the scale would be really small, but they make essentially a hole in the, in the floor of the river. So now um, the, the water is going to change because before the water was flowing along nice and happily like this, following the riverbed. Essentially the two have been working together to form a nice even flow. But now it gets to here. So at this point it speeds up because it now falls. It falls into the hole. So as it's falling into the hole, there'll be an acceleration of water at that point. It'll then travel along the hole and then come out of the hole where it'll be slower. And then gradually move along. So what this is going to do, if you start dredging a hole like this, is this a couple of things it'll do. The first is that the particles themselves here are going to find that there's more water flow, higher water flow. And what happens when you get higher water flow? That's right, you, you get an increase in erosion with more transport. So this part starts to fall apart. So in other words, the edge of the hole starts to move up and up and up and eventually it's trying to create this same slope that's going to fill it. All right? So it's trying to, to continually erode it so eventually the slope goes back to being something similar to what it was. All right? In this particular case, it may have to go right up here to be something similar like that. And I'll just tidy up my pen work here. So now you can see the slope is very similar to what it was. And now it's not falling. And so this is a very different. But here, the water has to go sort of out of the hole, if you like. And here, it starts to deposit more. And so this part of the river will actually kind of get silted up in the corner here. And then the top part, this part here, may dig out more. And so you may get a bit of a change in the way this, this looks. But eventually, this is going to go back to being something like that. And the water is going to flow just as it did before in a fairly standard way. So the thing is that here, even though a small hole is dug into the river, the effect can be very large. The upstream effect can be enormous as it starts to scoop out all these you know, rocks and sediment and sand and things like that. And the bottom part of it starts to kind of fill up and then gradually sort of flatten out as well. So during that process, 
is a big issue because you're essentially getting all of this sediment here, which I'm drawing a circle around, all of that sediment is now mobile. All right. Previously it was just sitting there quietly on the bottom of the river and now it's all getting stirred up. And so, <coughs> and so the river is now going to have a lot more sediment and all those fine particles that previously had lots of time to settle in and you know and sort of just become part of the riverbed they're all active now and they're going to start to tumble down and make their way down the river and so that means that essentially a lot of the uh, river here becomes quite turbid and a lot of you picked that up in your in your answers that the river is going to become very sort of um, muddy uh, and that may not be very good for the sharks and the fish and the crabs and and uh, and everything else there the mangroves themselves won't mind at all they're actually quite happy um, along the side here as long as they don't um, damage the mangroves the mangroves don't care too much um, but in this part of the area, the silt will then um, potentially increase the activity along the delta as well. So it may change the delta flow um, as well. Maybe not a great deal, but enough. Um, depends on how much dredging is done. So that's what happens if you dredge here. In terms of what happens at the mouth, um, it's not going to be a huge effect because only the small particles are going to get to to the mouth of the of the delta not the rocks and the larger particles and most of the sand will pretty much stay within this region they're not going to be allowed to to um to do much mining down the delta but if they did the consequences would be similar except that at this point the delta is fairly flat you know the river itself doesn't have much flow and uh, as a few of you have seen the, the river itself you know you can just about uh, ignore the flow you can swim uh, up and down the river at this point so if they do a small hole here the flow itself isn't going to be strong enough to make these really big changes I talked about but there'll be a lot of disturbance upstream and a little bit of filling up here down the bottom here and a little bit of digging out down here as well so while the disturbance factor in the delta is smaller, the problem is that the delta is often impacted by tides. So the seawater is also coming in and that's going to change and disturb a lot of that um, area. So by digging up the, the uh, area in the delta, you effectively start a process that can continue for many, many years because this uh, turbulence will need a lot of time to sort itself out and to get settled back down into a normal routine. Not that dissimilar to if it's a very, very large flooding event, which then um, causes a, a lot of changes. And sometimes in a delta that can mean a whole new section gets cut through, uh, which is a normal part of delta development. So that's what happens uh, if you do dredging on the, uh, on the river.